Baki, an anime and manga renowned for its martial arts based fights, along with the show's insanely strong characters. And I was wondering, could Arkham Batman defeat Baki Hanma in a fight? Well, first I'm going to take a look at what Arkham Batman could really do. However, before I start today's video, let me know in the comment section below, who do you think would win? The son of the ogre, Baki Hanma, or the Dark Knight himself, Batman? Arkham Batman, a man that took back an entire city in one night, along with taking down hundreds of people with weapons that are of the highest level of tech, with some of his opponents not even being human. With this version of Batman being on the brink of reaching superhuman physical and mental capabilities, Arkham Batman is said to have the strength of 10 men, and while being biologically human, he can apply practically superhuman force in his attacks by utilizing a highly effective strength and muscle control. He can effortlessly snap steel handcuffs, chains, slam people through walls, pry open large heavy steel doors, as well as being able to instantly tear fastened metal bars and structures, as well as being able to dismantle machines barehanded. But his highest feats of strength have to be him overpowering Killer Croc and even breaking out the insane grip of Solomon Grundy. And with the Bat Claw, he could pull down a Titan Enhanced Joker without even tiring. As well as Batman even being able to engage with King Shark in hand-to-hand -hand combat, along with him managing to punch through King Shark's insanely strong hide. Batman is also extremely durable due to his training. His muscles and bones are much harder than a normal person's, with this only being enhanced even more by the Batsu. Batman can survive being hit by attacks of dangerously powerful impacts, such as Killer Croc's violent assault, as well as him even being able to tank multiple of Bane's Titan Enhanced punches. And he is even resistant enough to withstand several gunshot and puncture wounds. And when it comes to stamina, this is basically not even a factor for him as he is rarely or maybe even never shown being gassed out ever as he could exert himself at maximum output for hours on end. However, this would not give Batman the upper hand in the slightest as Baki would be able to match Batman's stamina as well as his insanely sharp reflexes. And even though Baki's reflexes can match and honestly are faster than Batman's reflexes, I believe Baki does not take as much of an advantage of his reflexes as Batman, and I say this because Batman will often target the opponent's weak spot and build up damage over time intentionally, while Baki on the other hand will often just kind of wing it. And do not get me wrong, Baki is physically stronger than Batman and would defeat him in a one on one if they were on equal brain power. Baki has certain tendencies that are extremely exploitable, including Baki often allowing himself to be beat up for the first half of his fights. And this would allow Batman to get some damage in, which could add up, since Baki is not exactly known for caring about his wounds. And this is also one of the things that led to his inevitable downfall in his fight versus Yujiro Hanma. And if Baki didn't fight so carelessly, I believe he honestly would have been able to do some more damage to Yujiro. But that's just my opinion, and also a conversation for another day. But yet again, this is something that Batman would be able to exploit. Since as most people are aware, Batman's mind is extremely enhanced. Granting Batman perfect recall, accelerated learning aptitudes, extreme multitasking, and even photographic memory. He could perform feats of mind comparable to computers. He can store limitless amounts of information in his mind flawlessly, allowing him to perform complex calculations or other similar tasks. And Batman can also master a variety of knowledge and combat skills in just a few weeks, which would take a normal person many years to master. And Batman could also use 100% of his concentration, allowing him to push his physical and mental capabilities to their maximum potential. And this could also help him potentially attempt to match Baki's adaptability that he is notorious for doing during his fights, with Baki being able to copy techniques just after seeing them once giving Baki a massive upper hand. But you also have to consider, Batman is a master in almost every and all known forms of martial arts. 
He fully mastered dozens of disciplines and tactics, but his main combat style is a uniquely fused brand of Jujutsu, Taekwondo, Judo, Savate, Aikido, Muay Thai, Kung Fu, Boxing, Karate, and Ninjutsu. Bruce is an extremely skilled and proficient master combatant, practically a one-man army. With him defeating extremely dangerous master fighters, such as Deathstroke, Ra's al Ghul, Bane, etc. With one of Batman's opponents in particular, Ra's al Ghul, having over 500 years of combat under his belt. And also, some of Batman's most dangerous weapons are his intimidation factor, along with his usage of fear gas, which was shown at the end of Batman Arkham Knight. And this could actually be one of, if not the only way, to damage Baki mentally. And even though Baki would be looking at his biggest fear, which would more likely than not be an extremely exaggerated Yujiro Hanma, but I believe I believe this would not be enough to stop Baki from fighting, since fighting the strongest people is his whole entire life. But I do believe that this fear toxin would make Baki take this fight far more seriously. Baki is physically a powerhouse, with Baki being able to withstand Pickle's test of strength, with Pickle even charging at Baki with a force that could rival a Triceratops's. I mean hell, Baki's cockroach dash move can move at speeds up to 168 miles per hour. And even though I have talked about how smart Arkham Batman is, I have to give Baki his props. In situations where brute force alone is not enough, Baki has shown the ability to think outside the box. Along with Baki coming up with creative solutions to overcome his opponents, such as when he went up against Bisky Oliva's Pac-Man move. And in conclusion, this fight would be much closer than some may think, and Baki would best Batman in a brute force fight on a major scale. But Batman's strongest suit would be his strategic way of fighting, as he always plans a step ahead. Baki Hanma and Arkham Batman represent two different types of fighters from very distinct worlds. Baki is a martial arts prodigy with superhuman capabilities, thriving in a world where physical combat is everything. And in contrast, Arkham Batman is a highly skilled and resourceful vigilante who combines his peak human abilities with technology and strategy, all to defeat his opponents. And in a direct confrontation, the outcome would likely depend on the environment and rules of the engagement. Baki's raw power and martial arts prowess could give him the edge in a straightforward hand-to-hand -hand fight, while Batman's strategic mind, gadgets, and experience in dealing with a variety of foes could allow this version of Batman to outmaneuver Baki in a more tactical scenario. And at the end of the day, if this really were to happen, this would be the strongest plot armor versus plot armor scenario in the world, and I genuinely feel like this fight could go either way. If they were to be in the Baki arena, then I feel like Baki would win. But if they were to fight out on the street, I feel like Batman would take the W. This fight would be completely situational. But that will be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching until the end. And if you'd like to get in touch with me, you get pinged whenever I drop YouTube videos or even show off your art, then you can join the Discord that can be found in the description box below. And that's all for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!